so happy to be here today at the Maxi Museum in Rome for the opening of this exhibit called Freedom Fighters. And it's really about the civil rights movement. It's especially important for young people to see this, not just because it's a walk through history, but because of the implications for all of us today, especially for students, is it shows how youthful this movement really was. You look at those water hoses on those kids. Go and take a close look at their faces. These were children, some of them six, seven, eight years old. You don't have to be an adult. You don't have to win the Nobel Prize. You don't have to be president in order to make a difference on civil rights and to make our, our world more just. In June in 1968, I was a law student at Berkeley volunteering on Robert Kennedy's hotly contested California primary. I went door to door on election day passing out get out the vote reminders, one of which I have with me still today, 45 years later. It's a picture of Robert Kennedy with his signature saying, I run for the presidency because I want the United States to stand for hope, for the reconciliation of men, for new policies. I am in Italy now because President Obama asked me to serve. And because when I was young, President Kennedy and then Robert Kennedy inspired me to service. Here in Rome in July in 1963, in a speech at the Quirinale, President Kennedy <coughs> said he was leaving Rome with regret. The only excuse for the brevity of my, of my stay, he said, is the certainty of my return the next time with my wife. Now in this exhibit, he returns to Rome with his brother, we see them as they were, and in our mind's eye, we see the force of who they were, what they stood for, and how they lifted our vision and our ideals. And that force is still with us today, and it will touch and shape the horizons of history yet to come. Thank you.